We get some significant winds where I live, and they are shake the house, make you think everything's going to blow in kind of wind that happen regularly around here. So while we're used to it, our poor little dog, I don't think we'll ever get used to these winds. And I'm talking about sustained winds upwards of 20 miles per hour for hours on end, plus gusts up between 45, 50 miles per hour regularly. So she's terrified. And when she goes outside, because she's desperate to go to the bathroom, she just cannot do it. She runs in, she's terrified. So I have compassion on my little doggy, well, who's not so little. She's not gonna blow over in this wind. And I go outside with her and I stand near her because my presence of just being there is something that helps her feel a little bit more at ease enough to be comfortable, take care of her business. Got me thinking about friendship, how often we treat our animals better than our friends. It tells us in the Bible a lot about friends. Um, We know that two are better than one. If one falls, one can help another up. We also know in terms of work that two can encourage each other in their work. But what was interesting is the passage I read in Job today that says, forsaking kindness toward a friend is forsaking fear of the Almighty forsaking kindness. We are called to love each other, to help each other along, to encourage each other. And if it's something so simple as being a support to help in the midst of fear or chaos, let's do it. It doesn't take much, but it can mean all the world to someone who is struggling. Something to contemplate today. Blessings on you.